Hey, I just wanted to come on here and bring you a message from your person. Um, <laughs> I've been feeling a lot of tugs to the energy today. It's been a little overwhelming at times, but collective, let's see what's going on. Give me a message for the person on their mind. Think of a person at this moment. Think of your person. Think of your person. And let's see what they have to say. Give me a message, Spirit. What does my collective's person want to say? <laughs> Gaslighting you. I've been lying to I've been lying to you and gaslighting you. You weren't crazy. You were right. I just wasn't strong enough to admit it. Right? You were right about your person. I feel like some of you kind of stood up and kind of let your person know how they how you felt, how they were making you feel. And this is just confirmation. Your person heard what you said. And I feel like your words kind of cut deep into your person's energy. Into their heart. Because, you know, they know how wrong they were. They know that you were right about everything. You were right about everything. And they just couldn't admit it to you. But yeah, they were gaslighting you. They were lying to you. What else would they like to say? Will you listen? There's so many things I want to say to you. But will you hear me all the way out? Will you believe me? Your person wants you to hear them out. You know, I feel like <laughs> when your person is ready to come forward and ready to bring you this offer, are you willing to listen? Because I think that that is your person's biggest fear is that when they finally do come forward, when they finally do, you know, get their confidence up to make their way towards you to feel like they are truly enough. For you, you know, will you will you listen to what they have to say? Or will you tell them to go, you know, take a flying, you know, whatever. Because right now your person feels kind of lost. They feel lost without you. They, they're no longer feeling your energy at the moment. So they're tugging more on your energy because they no longer feel you around them. They no longer feel your energy. And if this person has someone else in their face at the moment, it's not your energy. It doesn't compare to what you bring to the table. It doesn't compare to your energy at all. You know, so don't get it twisted. This person is not happy if they're in a third party situation. If they're in a third party situation, they're just settling for what they think think they deserve at the moment they're not settling for what you are because you are much more valuable than the person that they are settling for at the moment right and they know that no one compares to you they know that no one can take your place and your person is feeling a lot of jealousy at the moment because maybe they feel like you're moving on. Like you're getting more offers. Like there may be people in your face. You know? And your person is feeling very jealous. And they can't stand that feeling. They can't stand that feeling that they may be losing you. That's driving them totally crazy, right? Hmm. Your person is not ready for you to move forward. Hmm. 
there's a lot of sexual energy with this person as well there is a lot and you can feel it if if you if you feel the energy around you you know that there is some sexual energy coming around right and your person feels like you are a great mother you are a great father they want to have a family with you you would be an amazing parent and if you're already a parent they want to combine their families with you because they feel like you are this nurturer you are this person who would be very nurturing for their family you know very loving very caring and kind so this person sees you as a mothering or fathering type right and there's a lot of sexual energy there they want to make babies right or attempt to make babies exactly but there's a lot of sexual energy. There's there's this tug and pull at the moment on the energy that because I feel like they they're in a deep loneliness at the moment and so they're yearning for you. They're yearning for your presence, for your your energy around them because they no longer feel your energy. And that's kind of scaring them. That's scaring them that that you may not be available. Father wounds. My father is a big influence on my behavior as an adult. And I have challenges with connecting to the divine masculine energy within me and externally. Yeah, there may be a lot of father wounds. There may be a lot of mother wounds, actually. And... At the bottom, we also have attached to my ex. So there's a lot of feelings that have left this person very wounded. Has left them very scarred. Right? And they're currently working through their stuff. I feel like they're working through their stuff. I keep hearing I just need more time I just need more time I feel like they need more time to to learn how to make better choices because I feel like this person has cut off their heart so much to where they're, they they need more time to learn how to open that up, to learn how to love. Because they want to be able to love you correctly. They, they don't want to hurt you. This person never really intentionally hurt you. Um, uh, they didn't mean to. That was not what they meant to do. This person wanted to be for you what you are to them. And this person sees you as this light of love. You know, this this person who's very loving and nurturing. And I feel like they, they listen to other people too much. They listened to other people's opinions way too much. And that put... A, a wall up between you two. I feel bound to my culture, my family's beliefs on how I should live my life. I'm working towards breaking free from my limiting, um, from limiting myself based on their beliefs. This person is trying to break free of situations, and I feel like it's like past situations, but I feel like they. They kind of listen to other people's opinions a lot more than they should. And that actually built a wall between you two. That they are slowly trying to dismantle. Right? Um, they're slowly trying to break free. <laughs> because you're their favorite. Right? You're the person I want to call when something good or bad happens. The first thought when I have news to share is you 
they the, the first thing that they want to do is the first thought in their mind is you when they wake up when they go to sleep when something good happens when something bad happens they think of you right they think that your advice which they consider to be so valuable is what they want to run to when they have a problem or when they have a question you know they respect your opinion and they have something to say you know will you listen to them there's something I really want to share with you I'm waiting for the right time to tell you and I feel like they are waiting for the right time. They're waiting for the right time to bring an offer. So, that is what I have for you. So, if this, res if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell. Um, good luck. Love and light to you. Many blessings.